there are spaces which were created by people who never uttered a word. This is a small hillock. Then somebody told me there are caves there. You know, I could clearly see that person who was lying there more than two thousand years ago, a left leg was missing from knee down. There are spaces which were created by people who never uttered a word. You know, the, the, any number of spaces like this, this happened very dramatically for us when… Uh, are there Tamil people? Karur, you know Karur? Hmm? Near Karur there's a place called Velai Dupalyam. This is a small hillock. Almost twenty years ago I was teaching a program there. Then somebody told me there are caves there where uh, some nineteen hundred years ago some Jain monks came and stayed there. Then I said, okay, let's go and see. So this is a small cave where about eight, ten people could lie down just about five, five and a half feet in height, you have to go in. It's in a… it's like a bird's nest, you have to find your way. So we went there and it was not uh, kept in any cleanliness or properly. Obviously people were using it for various purposes, there were a lot of empty bottles, cigarette packets and playing cards and always, you know, somebody writes, PKT loves SKP and… <laughs> You never know who these people are but <laughs> you see, inscriptions everywhere. So I went and sat there, about four other people that were there with me, four or five people. You sit there and suddenly your whole system is on in a different way. I said, wow, this is something <laughs> you… you know, this… this is a place where somebody stayed over two thousand years ago and it's still alive like it's day before yesterday. And uh, you know, I could clearly see that person who was lying there more than two thousand years ago, he didn't have uh, a leg, a left leg was missing from knee down. And it's like he was lying there just the previous night. It's, it's as alive as that. Ever since then, all kinds of people have walked on it, Animals have walked on it, people have sat there and had drinks and played cards and I know what else. But it's like that man was there yesterday, it's that alive. Since those two thousand years, how many kings, rich people, smart people, strong men, all kinds of people must have passed that land, done all kinds of smart things? no trace of them. I'm sure there must have been lots of teachers too, no trace of them. But this Langara man still lives strong, strong, absolutely strong. So you can either work… if you work with your physical body, what you do today, tomorrow, if you use your mind and do something, it may last a little longer. If you use your physical energies and do something, it may last a little longer. But if you use the very source of creation within you and act through that, it just lives forever. So consecration essentially means this kind of action which will live forever.
still places that exist which are not even on the map. These are considered like secret villages. I could clearly see that person who was lying there more than two thousand years ago, a left leg was missing from knee down. There is one being uh, in the Himalayan region who has had three enlightened lifetimes. This is his final one. Enlightenment does not mean everybody becomes one way. There are people of various hues.